Hello and welcome. This is the squad combat module, like in-depth explanation. Okay, if you want a brief overview, the link should be in the description for a brief overview of this system, and then the mod installation video should also be down there. Okay, as well as my Patreon for you to access all these documents to follow along um, for how I'm going to be talking about this. Okay, I'm going to be going through every single step, so I uh, hopefully can guide you through this whole process on how this whole system works. Okay, so to start off with. Uh, basically, this whole section up here is why I decided to do this, okay? Basically, I was playing my homebrew campaign in Greece, and my players ran into problems. They were fighting whole gangs, and they had a legionary backup support, okay? I can't put 40 legionaries on a map, right, without blowing my brains out, because that's 40 initiatives you have to roll. That's crazy, okay? So I needed a system that would let me have, you know... If I wanted 40 legionaries, four initiatives that you keep track of while still retaining their stats. OK, and that was very important is to retain their stats um, while be able, being able to do this. Right. That's why basically I decided on a squad size of 10. It's a compromise number. Um, squad size 10. Pretty good. Even modern day squads are usually 12, you know, all the way through eight. OK, so it's a pretty good number in my opinion. OK. Um, and my, another one of my main goals is basically keep the si system simple and modular so any GM can put it in their game, pull it out of their game, and, you know, modify things um, on, based on what they need, okay? So, now we're going to go through this whole document, and I'm going to show you um, how everything works, okay? So, how it works. Basically, simple. The first way, the first um, thing you do is you need a monster or an NPC stat block. You can use whatever um system you want right homebrew whatever okay um for the system to work you need 10 of them to be in a squad they have to be the same type they have to be the same monster same creature same stat block okay um so you have to pick that so you pick one right and in this case i'm going to be using my own the rookie stat block right on page 13 which is this stat block right you get all these stat blocks basically page 13 through 48 is just stat blocks for squads and npcs that you can use okay um but basically um we're going to use off the rookie stat block okay so first we need to look at the rookie stat block and copy it exactly okay you copy everything exactly as is written down there okay um after you copy it you name it something else in this case we're going to call it rookie squad okay uh and then we will start to modify the block okay First thing you need to do is change the size from medium to gargantuan, okay? This is to represent 10 people in a general area, okay? Um, the reason is gargantuan is because usually 10 people in a squad don't stand next to each other, right, all the time. They're spread out, right, and how they're going to fight depends on what formation they're in. But generally for this example and what this uh, system, the squad combat system, is using is it basically 10 people in a general area okay this this basically helps rangers out because rangers aren't going to be standing next to each other whereas a line of fighters might be standing next to a line next to each other right um, compromise second you need to multiply the hp the rookie uh by 10 right the number in the squad in this case it's going to equal 500 right so what we're talking about here is the hp right this whole system is going to rely on basically a stat static hp okay your monster, make a number. If you don't want to use the highest HP total, which is what I usually do, um, then you need to pick a total and you're going to have to use it for every single one. Okay. In this case, it's just 50. Very simple. 50 times 10 equals 500. Okay. That's the new HP for the squad. Okay. Now, after you have done that, um, you third thing is we're going to see what weapons he has. Okay. In this example, the rookie has a long sword and a long bow, and these are their stats, right? The rookie can make two melee or range attacks or a combination of both. The, me uh, the long sword has a plus four to hit, and it does 1d8 plus two or 1d10 plus two if you're using the versatile thing, right? The versatile uh, ability. Or his longbow is four to hit, 1d8 plus two damage, okay? So from this, we can see that the rookie, a single rookie, remember, right? has two attacks that he can make in a round with either his longbow or long sword okay that each have a plus four to hit okay so for the squad that we are making we are now going to add a plus two um chance to hit on all of his attack rolls okay this is basically because a squad working together should have a higher chance to hit whatever's in front of them okay and this is going to apply to every single squad it doesn't matter what type it is every single squad will get the plus two 
for all attack rolls, okay? So now on your stat block, and in this case, the rookie squad stat block, it should be a plus six, right? Because four plus two equals six, right? On all attack rolls, very simple, okay? Second, we need to find out how many attacks a total squad of 10 rookies can make in a round, okay? A single rookie can make two attacks per turn, right? With his multi-attack, okay? With this information, we can find out how many attacks a squad can make, okay? Remember, a squad can only be 10 members, okay? So, simple, right? 2 times 10 equals 20, right? 20 attacks are how many um, a squad of rookies can make in a turn, okay? If they were all regular NPCs, 20 attacks is what they can make in a turn, okay? With this information, we're going to move on to the final steps, okay? For the squad combat uh, squad combat module to work, you need to divide the attacks into a reasonable number for a squad to make in a round of combat, okay? So, this number is 5, okay? Very simple, 5. Every squad is going to have the same thing, 5, five attacks, okay? Um, regardless um, of how many attacks they all have, like whatever, 5. 5 squad attacks, okay? Remember, 5 squad attacks. The squad attack thing is important, okay? Here is a chart, okay, down here. And we'll show you why we always have five squad attacks per squad, okay? A creature usually has a multi-attack of two, three, four, or five, okay? A squad of ten of these creatures will always be divisible by five. Therefore, the amount of squad attacks is always five, okay? So, for example, if your NPC creature, whatever, has two attacks, you know, uh, it's going to equal 20 attacks, right? Um, and this number four right here is basically how many attacks are going to be in a squad attack and the number five is the squad attacks, okay? And you can use this chart. It's always very helpful to have this chart, right? Um, but you can, you know, look at the chart basically. So, I want to clarify things, okay? To clarify, a rookie has two attacks that you can make per turn. A regular NPC rookie, okay? So two times 10 equals 20. A squad of rookies can make 20 attacks in a turn, right? That's how many a... If you had 10 NPCs of rookie that were all rookies, right? They can make 20 attacks in total. Okay, so 20 divided by 4 equals 5, right? 5 is our squad attacks, okay? So 20 is a total number of attacks, right? 4 is how many attacks are in a squad attack. And 5 is the number of squad attacks a squad uses at 100% HP, okay? That is how that whole system breaks down, okay? So... Go over it again, right? 20, the number 20 right here is how many total attacks all these NPCs have together, okay? This number divided by 4, 6, 8, and 10 is how many attacks are in a squad attack, okay? One squad attack. And you now have five squad attacks. So, for example, 50 attacks, right, from all of the NPCs combined is going to mean 10 attacks in one squad attack and you're going to get five squad attacks equaling 50 attacks basically okay it's very simple i it should be very simple okay just remember um uh just remember that 20 divided by four equals five okay remember always five squad attacks right and this number right here is basically this four six eight and ten is how many attacks are in one squad attack okay and uh yeah that's basically it okay and i will show you this more in depth okay so let me go over to foundry and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so for example this elite engineer squad right is going to have you know an x amount of attacks right so they each are going to get you know a regular elite engineer okay is going to get a multi-attack of five okay so, 5, right, times 10 equals 50, okay, right? And then if you divide 50 by the amount of squad attacks, right, it equals 10 weapon attacks in each squad attack, okay? And this, this information right here is always available for you in Foundry, okay? I've written it all down for you for every squad, okay? Um, and what this means is, right, you can make five squad attacks. So you can make five squad attacks, right? And the damage is 10d10 plus four zero, okay? And it's 10d10 because you have 10 weapon attacks, okay? 
that's basically it okay so now i'm going to go into the squad damage okay so now that we've calculated now so now we so with that we now need to know how to calculate damage per squad attack okay in this example we can use the rookie squad to make four attacks per squad attack right um so the damage will be as follows long sword right squad attack because this was basically what you're naming is squad attack right long sword squad attack 4d8 plus 8 or 4d10 plus 8 if you use the long sword versatile thing okay and the longbow has 4d8 plus 8 piercing damage okay 4d8 is four attacks being rolled right and we add the uh, plus 8 based upon the damage bonus the rookie has okay so what we're talking about here is if we pull up the rookie stat block right here okay and you can see the number right because he has you know two strength for his long sword he's going to get a plus two to his damage okay if he had magic whatever other things you want there it's going to add that plus okay but should be relatively easy to understand there okay because that's just regular rules okay now we will add the plus two as mentioned before to all attack rolls okay so now his long sword attack right should be six plus six to hit right one target another squad right or nbc whatever is 4d8 plus eight or 4d10 slashing damage okay the long goes the exact same way right 4d8 plus eight damage okay now the squad makes five squad attacks with their weapon of choice it's very simple right um yeah so that's basically the system right there right um we're just gonna go over this little last bit right is squad attack degradation degradation okay when a squad loses health the number of squad attacks goes down to represent squad members being injured slash dying okay each time a squad takes 25 percent damage it will lose one squad attack to represent members becoming you know dying slash becoming wounded okay this chart shows you how many squad attacks a squad can make based on its remaining hp this chart right here will never change at 100 percent all the way down to 76 percent right you will make five squad attacks 75 percent all the way down to 51 percent right will make four squad attacks right um because you're above 50 and then at 50 percent all the way down to 26 percent right you are going to make three squad attacks and then 25 percent to zero percent you will make two squad attacks okay and that's it you just have to program your NPC stat block to look like this, right? This is the whole thing right here is just each of these stat blocks is basically just telling you um, your HP ranging from 500 to 351 is going to be 100 to 176 uh, HP total remaining, okay? So, for example, we're going to take the rookie squad, right? And in Foundry, this is all done for you. Congratulations, right? You don't have to do anything. So, right here basically for foundry how to read it is 100 hp is 500 because you have 500 hp okay you make five squad attacks that's what this five means okay now if it drops down to 350 350 and below you make four if it drops below it if it drops to 250 or below you make three if it drops to 125 or below you make two very simple to understand right um and this is the way it's written for foundry so it's easy to understand right i would recommend you do it the same way if you're going to use a different uh, vtt or if you're doing pen and paper right um just write it out the same way it's very simple because it basically gives you a little reminder next to each thing like oh they're losing a squad attack each time right remember their damage never changes right we're not changing their damage die right because when you lower a squad attack you're actually taking their quote unquote attacks away from them um because they lose their squad attack right and in this case a squad attack right is four regular attacks from a rookie so that's why you're losing a squad attack and not changing any of the damage okay and it makes this system very simple to do so right and that's all this is saying right and it's just giving you little things okay just remember each time you reach an hp threshold your attacks will go down remember the number is five five four three two right for your squad attacks that are based upon your total HP remaining, okay? And that's it. That's basically the whole thing for squad attacks, right? Um, you can now fight. You can now make your stat block. You can now, um, you know, how many attacks they're gonna have, right? Or how many how many squad attacks they're gonna have. 
um, divided, you know, by uh, from previous, basically, on how many attacks they have. You can turn it into a squad attacks, right, and see how much damage they do. So with that, bonus actions slash special actions, okay? Depending on what NPCs you have grouped together in a squad will determine if they have a bonus action slash special actions, okay? If all 10 members can cast the same spell, they should be able to at a squad level, okay? If they all have the ability that lets them heal the squad, they also heal themselves, right? Um, they should all, the squad should also get that ability. It's your job as the GM to determine what extra abilities these guys all have, okay? For example, the veteran squad on page 31 has a special bonus action that it can take, okay? Um, because every because second chance this is an ability that a veteran npc has it heals 50 hp okay so if we go look at page uh, 15 right you can see that the veteran does in fact have second chance right and can heal 50 hp as a bonus action okay so with that right the um this gives you the ability to make you know squad things okay so if we now look at 31, right, for a squad of veterans, you can see that the second chance, right, is named second chance, you know, squad, they can now heal 500 HP because remember 50 times 10 equals 500, okay? Um, and this gives you the ability to add basically abilities from a regular NPC, okay? That's what I like about the system, right? Um, and this is just one example. You can go look down in the squad index on page 13, right? And go through all of them. They each have little different variations and you can add or do whatever you want there for your own custom squad that you can make, okay? Initiative and concentration, okay? So initiative can be rolled and tracked as any other monster slash creatures as an NPC would, okay? Um, you can roll initiative and see which side, or, right? This is what I do. You can see roll initiative of every squad you're gonna have on the field, okay? And see which side has the higher rolls in general and then do it from um, turns, right? So if one side rolled a lot higher than the other side, just do it in turns, right? This side goes, then the other side goes, okay? Up to you as a GM on how you want to do that. That's up to you. Um, reactions. Reactions, uh, so the little thing that has changed here is squad. Basically, your squad still has reactions um, that it can use. Uh, the only change is that if another squad slash creatures as whatever leaves its range, right? Um, it can attack it, right, with an opportunity attack, but it is only one squad attack, okay? That's it. That's uh, that's basically the limitation there. Um, you could play around with other reactions if you wanted to. But that's up to you, okay? And concentration, okay? Concentration um, is a basically if a squad uses a spell that requires concentration, if they take damage from another squad, they will lose concentration on that spell, okay? It's very simple to understand. Very easy. We're talking. We're talking at minimums usually of a hundred damage, right? Or it depends on the squad and what squad they are. Um, but yeah, they, you really shouldn't be able to keep concentration. And usually, one in ten of those people is going to fail their con anyway, right? So if a squad attacks another squad that's concentrating on something, that concentration is going to drop. Okay. If they take damage from one monster or one NPC or whatever, it's your job as the GM to determine if they break concentration. Okay. However, as a general rule, when an NPC attacks a squad, right, um, that is concentrating on a spell, the squad doesn't lose concentration on that spell, um, even if they get hit, right? Um, because it's just one, you know, creature, monster, whatever, right? Um, so that's up to you as a GM on what you want to do there. Last thing here, some, some last things, okay? Captains, okay? So captains are a special NPC that the players can find in their adventure. It's your job as a GM to determine when they get them, right? And which captain stats to use, okay? Captains buff nearby squads with their ability leadership. Leadership gives the captains the ability to give squads under their command um, a, basically a D4 on all attack rolls and saving throws, okay? It also extends to other NPCs as the captain chooses to buff them. Leadership gives a D4 bonus to a max of two squads, right? And then it also gives a maximum of for um, NPCs, you can use whatever you want there, right? And you can see the index, right, on page 11, okay? So if we look at Foundry, it's all done for you, right? Um, so captains are basically, think of them as important characters that your uh, players can run into and interact with and hire or whatever. Basically, um, on the field, how they're supposed to work is that if you have, uh, let's say, two regular squads, right? And, or sorry, we're gonna have two regular squads out here, right? And let's say we're going to put a veteran captain, 
okay? He's going to quote unquote lead these squads, okay? And the reason he's not in a squad is because he has abilities to buff them, right? And he's also stronger than a regular NPC, right? So for example, his leadership ability, right? His spell, right? He can only cast it twice, right? Basically it gives him all these guys a D4, okay? And you can um, give them the buff, right? Cast leadership, right? Um, and remember, basically you have to be, the thing is not concentration. So the leader can actually take damage and, uh, it's going to buff all these guys with a D4 on all their attacks. Okay. So if you kill the captain, the buff ends, right? Um, so that's why you could have, you know, uh, other, you could have your players go fight a captain, right? So let's just say your players are going to go, um, fight off the captain and kill him. And the other squad that are backing them up are going to deal with the other squads while they go do that. Okay. Um, and you can do this in this whole system right here. Oh, it all works. If you want to have your players roll initiative and the captain and everyone roll initiative, this all works. This whole system works. Your players can go fight the captain. After they kill the captain, they can help beat the other squads out. Um, yeah, so the whole system works like that, right? And that's basically what captains are. Um, important NPCs that buff um, other squads, okay? And they can also buff players if the, if the captain is going to travel with the players, right? Magic and magic users, okay? So magic users are up to you uh, as the GM to determine on how they work, okay? Currently, there is no magic squad, but this may change in future versions. And what I mean by that is I may eventually make a mage squad, okay? But right now, mage squads should be pretty broken, okay? If you can get 10 mages in a squad, right, and they all cast whatever spell, example, fireball, whatever, right? They all cast it 10 times at someone at a squad. They're probably going to kill a lot of them. Okay. Or wound a lot of them. Um, and having 10 spell casters in a squad. I know a lot of GMs that don't like that. Right. Um, so again, if magic's rare in your thing, then just say that, you know, there's not really going to get 10 mages in the squad. Right. Um, but they will eventually come, um, in future versions. Okay. And also right now, when a spell is cast at a squad, the squad will roll one saving throw and take the effects of the spell, okay? If the spell can affect 10 creatures, that is, okay? If it affects one creature, it, basically, um, the squad is unaffected because one squad member of nine affected is not going to deteriorate the squad that much, right? And this keeps the system simple and efficient, okay? Um, if your spell can affect 10 creatures, Go ahead and cast it on them. Uh, it'll probably hurt the squad real bad, right? Um, and other than that, the squad, because um, we'll go over this a little bit. Other than that, the squads are going to act like any other um, NPC, creature, whatever. Okay, they roll initiative. They have their own stats. Um, you can, there's no other variable, right? They just, they're just other, they're just new creatures that are just bigger and tankier and do more damage. Um and you can make them roll and do whatever you want here, right? It's completely up to you. And all of this is done in Foundry for you, right? Everything in Foundry is all done for you, ready to go, ready to rock and roll, right? Um, and I'll get to that in a minute, okay? Um, so just to recap, all squads gain a plus two to hit whenever um, from the NPC stat block you use. So whatever stat block you use, add plus two to all their attacks. Good, right? A squad's total HP is a monster such as NPC's individual HP times 10, right? And then a squad will always have five squad attacks, right, at 100% HP. And a squad's total amount of squad attacks goes down based upon their remaining HP. Very simple. Bonus actions, special actions are up to you, the GM, to determine, but usually all members of the squad should be able to use the ability if you want the whole squad to use it, okay? Squad, the squad now acts like another monster and NPC when you roll initiative. Nothing else changes, right? You should now be able to create your own squads, right, and, and uh, have fun. Uh, good luck. Uh, more squads and NPCs will be added in future versions, um, and there will be a poll on Patreon so you can add uh, your input in on what you want me to focus on, right? And then basically this thing is like, hey, watch this video if you don't understand, right? And then here's an index of terms, right, um, that you can look at, and then here's the index of new items that you can look at, and this is the leadership spell, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can look at here, right? Um, here is a troop tree. And what this troop tree is going to basically, basically what this troop tree is representing is uh, how you can level these guys up, all right? Foundry, it's all done for you. Download the Foundry module, it's all good to go, right? So we'll start off, basically a rookie can evolve into a regular. A regular can evolve into a veteran and elite, right? And each one of these stat blocks is all good to go for you, ready to rock and roll, right? And what I mean by that is like, if you have um, Foundry installed and you want these two NPCs to fight, 
and I will show you in the mod installation video. Um, you can have them immediately go fight each other, right? And you can see that they're rolling damage and they do all this stuff is all ready to go, right? And the squads are the same way, right? You can have two squads immediately start fighting each other with this module, okay? And this module can also be added to any game world. So it's ready to rock and roll for you whenever you are ready to go, right? And whenever you want to do this, right? And he missed. And let's just say he's going to action insert and hit him again or do all their stuff, right? Um, calculates everything for you. So you're all good to go here. This module can be imported into your world and is ready to rock and roll, right? Um, no need to make a new world or anything. Just ready to put it, put it in your world, pops up, okay? I'll handle that in the mod installation. But basically, this troop tree, rookie, regular, veteran, elite, okay? You can also do um, rookie, regular. This is where this thing, the path diverges, right? So your regulars um, can evolve into different things, right? You have ranger types, okay? There's male and female ranger types. The only reason for this is because I have different models for each one. Um, and that's the only one I really have them for, unfortunately. But um, you can see that the rangers have different stats compared to regulars, right? And you can change them to your heart's content or do whatever you want, right? Um, and rangers also have, you know, spells they can cast. Uh, so it's all up to you on what you want to do, right? You can make rangers... Uh, evolve and you can do the same thing for engineers engineers basically um they are very good at intelligence things and they have um halberds instead of great swords and, or um long swords and shields okay and they're basically just big defenders think of these guys as defenders the rangers as your range option and the fighters as basically big damage dealers okay and you have your captains right your captains can evolve into elite captains um, you can make more, you can make less, it's up to you. And they're all good to go with all their stats, right? And your squads, um, your squads are like this. They're set up like this. Your rookie squads can evolve into a regular squad, a veteran squad, and an elite squad, right? They could also evolve into a veteran ranger squad and then um, elite ranger squads, right? They can also evolve into um, veteran engineer squads and elite engineer squads. And that's up to you on what you want to do there, right? Um, so that's all not, okay? And this is all done for you in Foundry VTT. And uh, yeah, if you <laughs> like the module, it'd be very good, right? Um, if you don't have it and you have a PDF version, well, same thing still applies. It just takes a little bit longer for you to write it all out, right? Um, and that's basically what this troop tree is basically set, okay? Um, the index for troops and squad, basically this is going to give you all of the stat blocks for the regular NPCs. This thing right here is gonna give you all the stat blocks for these squads. So you can go look at it and then there's legal index, right? Um, so that's all the stuff down here. I'm not going to show you all that because, you know, you can read it on your own on Patreon and with the download and the PDF and stuff, right? Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, please, please, please ask them in the comment section. If you still don't understand there, please come to the Discord. I will be happy to help you with anything related to these documents, right? Um, and I hope to continue this in the future and make this module better by adding more content to it and flushing out different features, right? Remember, this is just version one of the of this and it will become uh, bigger and better, right? You also have different um, things also on Patreon. You have my maps and you have uh, different modules on top of this. On just on top of, you know, just this one, there is more stuff there um, you can go look at, okay? Other than that, um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this system and I hope you guys have an awesome time playing with it. Um, other than that, leave any questions below and I will see you guys next time.